The next thing we're going to want to do is either create a new project or open or import one. And uh, in this particular case, we there's some start code we want to start with. So you can download that start code from um, Canvas, right? So if you want to download that from Canvas and then make sure you know where you store it. It's called gettingstarted.zip and download it and save it somewhere you can find it. Once you get that downloaded and saved, then extract it or unzip it and the way that you like to do that. And then it'll create, then you'll have this folder called the same thing. And it has the cont the contents of that in there. So once you get that unzipped, then you can choose in C Lion, you can choose open or import. And here's where you really need to know how to find it because you're just on your regular C drive. You need to go into users. I'm Linda is the user that I am. Then I keep my things on box. So I open that 1410 module zero. And there's that folder getting started. See it? And if, if it's not expanded, then it's just that folder. Once you expand it, then you see those other folders that are there and this cmakelist.txt file. And this is the file you want to click, right? So no, don't go inside those folders. Just click on that cmakelist.txt file and say, okay. And now it's going to give you the chance to open as a project, which is what we want. You do have a choice to open it as a file or to cancel, but we want to open it as a project. And as soon as we do that, then it opens up and we have a project that we can work with. Let me see if I can get this the right size to work in here. Okay. Now uh, it's opening up that project and getting it ready to go. See it down here where it say it's loading uh, the CMake project and waiting for just a little while. All right. Now, if we go up here on the left, this is where it shows us the information about our project. This is just the file folder. We expand that. Then we can see that CMake list file and those folders that were there, plus an additional folder. Now, every time that um, C Lion opens up a new uh, file, it will create these files. So if you notice, if we go back here, we have a couple of additional folders. And those folders you don't need to do anything with. Uh, C Lion makes them and uses them. If you can delete them and it'll rebuild them the next time you do it. That's the CMake build debug folder and this idea folder. Now you might not see this one because that dot in front of it says it's a hidden folder. So it just depends whether you've got your settings to see the hidden folders or not. So we've got this opened up. And uh, we're going to work in, of all these folders that are there, there's only one folder that we're going to actually be working in. And that is the SRC folder, and that stands for source. So let's go ahead and expand that. Notice there's another CMake list file in there. Now you're not going to have to do anything with those CMake list files. They're all set up, ready to go, and have the right settings in there to make this program work fine for you. But we are going to do in the CPP files, we're going to make changes. So we've got a main CPP. If I double click on it, it will open here. And if I double click on this other one, the hello world.cpp, it will also open. And these are the two files that we're going to be working in today. So now that we've got this um, opened as a project in C Lion, we can work in it.